garage may not be organized clean and in great shape, but you can bet that I keep my Microsoft Office 365 account very well organized because we get so many emails these days, both challenged with spam as well as emails from other people that they might not think is spam, that we think is spam, and then of course the real emails that we need to address. So one of the things that I do is under the general inbox, I create subfolders under the inbox and then use Microsoft rules to automatically redirect emails as they come in into these subfolders. So let me do this under my sort of business case, which would be I'm ready for winter term and I'm gonna teach some classes this term. And so what I'll do is I'll right click on the inbox and go to create new folder. Now I really create a detailed folder structure here and I'll, and I'll tell you why. So the first folder I create is winter 2013 classes. And the reason I start with this main folder is that it makes it easy for me to then, once the term is over, to archive all of the emails that, that came in for that term, either archive it here or export it out so that I have it in case I need to reference any of these emails in the future. But it really allows me to keep my inbox nice and clean when I'm done with the term. So under the winter term, I'll right click on it and create new folder. One of the classes that I teach is CIS 244, Systems Analysis. So I create that folder as well. That's a subfolder, as you can see, of the winter 2013 classes. Now, most people might stop there, but I actually create an additional subfolder. Now, I know this may seem like a lot of work, but I guarantee I can do this whole thing, including the rules, in under 10 minutes when I start a term, and it really helps to keep things organized and efficient. So the 10 minutes I spend at the head at the beginning of the term saves me hours, I guarantee, during the term. So the next folder that I create is one called completed, and I'll do this for each folder. So once I'm done, I'm gonna pause the video, I'll create the rest of the folders that I need, and then we'll come back. But the reason for the completed folder is once things via email rules are redirected into CIS 244, I then will go ahead and respond to the, to the student, or if there's no action that I need to take on the email that's sent, I can just move it right into the completed box. One of the things that I do not do is when I receive an email, I don't just reply, hey, I received your email. And the reason I don't is those things just fill up everybody's email box. So the only time I respond is if there's a call to action in the email. And in a subsequent video, we'll talk about creating effective professional emails as well. So now I have this completed folder. So I'll move things in that are completed. That way, items that end up in this folder can be moved over to the completed folder and I stay organized. Let me create the rest of the structure. I'll pause it and come back and show you what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, I've created a bunch of additional folders under the inbox. I've got one for our department chair as well as one for college committee. If you notice, I spelled committee wrong and I wanted to show you quickly how to rename a folder if you do that. All you have to do is right click on it, rename, come in and make the change that you need and hit the enter key and you're done. Now, also another point that I wanna make is if you notice in front of winter 2013, I've put an at sign. And the reason I did that is so that it shows up at the top of my folder structure. So the at sign works really well for that. If you had something else that you wanted to show up second, you could do an at, at sign, that kind of thing uh, to have them show up. Now, one thing I did notice is as, as I created these, they didn't organize alphabetically initially, but I found all I had to do was sign out of my account, sign back in, and they did organize in alphabetical order. So of course, this would normally no organize down here, but instead because of the at sign, it came at the top. The reason I put the at sign is because this is where I'm gonna spend most of my time over the next term. So as you can see, I've got a great folder structure and in a subsequent video, I'll show you how to create a couple rules that will redirect emails into these particular folders. Take care and we'll talk soon.